going on people it's the xbox 448 and today i kind of want to go into a little more detail about what i was talking about yesterday with forwards compatibility and the future of um microsoft's gaming plus i also want to talk about this code name quote unquote neo all right so first things first just going into a little more detail about what i see with the future of microsoft and gaming you know, the X1 and uh, the console to come after that. Like I said, it, to me, it's completely revolutionary. And I'm not sure if I really captured the essence of that yesterday. Uh, not only will backwards compatibility be the absolute norm, all right, when the new console comes out, but so will the game's scaling, okay? So games that are being made on the X1 now under the universal windows platform they'll be able to be scaled up in the new uh the, within the new console so you'll have like better lighting better frame rates uh you know just a uh, overall i don't know better performing game um including visuals and the thing is microsoft is focusing on the platform it's not necessarily the hardware all right, the next console that comes out is, is going to be a monster, I believe. It's going gonna, it's gonna to really kind of knock the doors off of that whole horsepower debate. But in the end, Microsoft is focusing on the platform. Like Phil Spencer said, he wants you to be able to take your games and play them wherever you are, wherever you want to. So the Universal Windows platform does that for people. It'll scale the game up or down according to whatever hardware you're using now like i said the one of the key things there and this is what basically i have guesstimated with with the information and such is that even games that come out for the new console since they're focusing on the platform and not necessarily the hardware uh will be able to be played on the x1 it'll be downscaled um so this way it can run on like older hardware but it'll still be able to be run on older hardware which is absolutely amazing in my opinion and then not only like not only that like I said you know any games that you get on the X1 from here on out that are uh, developed with the UWP will be um, available day one on the next console not only will they be available but they have the ability to be upscaled to look like that generation's games. Like I said, this has never been done before. Um, it is really interesting. Uh, it, this fascinates me. And uh, of course, you know, you have uh, Phil Spencer coming out kind of with the idea that the next console will be upgradable. So, you know, with that in mind, um, of course, you, you have to focus on the platform and you have to have uh, the ability to scale, all right? So this way, you know, whatever upgrades you get on the next system will be able to work. But I think looking at it like this, it, it is really for the gamers in ways that people might not have thought of before. Now, I know with this generation, a lot of people were complaining about the support for the 360 and how they kind of hung on to that uh, for a long time, which they did. And I was one of those people that also said, you know what, um, it's time to move on. Now, with this focus on the platform and having games be able to scale up or down, they can go right in to the next generation, okay? They could go right into the game like, and have it perform to the best of its ability on the new console, but still be able to be played on the X1. So that takes away that whole problem right there. There's a lot of things when you start thinking about um, uh, the ability to scale these games like this and, and the focus on the platform instead of the hardware, there's a lot of problems that we've had as gamers that kind of go away. So I think this is a, a really good move. I think it's a positive move. I think it's a move uh, for the gamer. 
like I, I don't see anything wrong with this. I know there there have been some hiccups when it comes to uh, Windows 10 games on PC, but guys, come on, this is a brand new thing, okay? So if you expected that there wasn't going to be any glitches, if you expected all the full features to be out right when you know games for Windows 10 started coming out and it wasn't a work in progress, I mean I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, <laughs> it seems like for not all PC gamers, but the PC elitists just want everything on their silver platter handed to them uh, without without any evolution, okay? They just want everything right then and there for them. They feel that they are number one and, and that's it, which uh, I have news for them. You know, we're all gamers, all right? And I, I'm tired of hearing that whole elitist garbage. Okay, so now since I, I got went over, you know, what I feel is the future of gaming and how I feel Microsoft kind of has it in the bag, let's talk about uh, the supposed spec leaks for the new PlayStation 4. And, I mean, it does look, you know, more powerful. Uh, it has a more improved architecture, uh, GCN architecture. Um, there's a lot of, like, up-clock stuff in it. And um, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. As usual, guys, I want you to hit up the comment section. Um, I want to hear your feelings on this. It really doesn't affect me too much because I am not uh, a PlayStation owner. I didn't invest in a PS4. I don't think there are enough games for me, you know, enough games that kind of uh, grab my attention for that, that system to shell out a, you know, a few hundred dollars for. But that's, that's me. And plus, you know, I, I don't trust Sony, all right? I don't, they have a long track track record of treating their consumers like shit. I don't want to be a part of that group, but that's a different story. Let's talk about, you know, the system. Uh, you know, Sony came out and, and basically stated that with the new, the new version of the PS4, that games uh, coming out this September have to have a patch ready to be able to run the quote-unquote Neo mode. And that's what they're codenaming this PS4K. They're codenaming it Neo. So it's going to have to have a mode that, that runs on the newer version of the PS4 and the standard version of the PS4. Which is good because it doesn't kind of segment uh, their consumer base. Or does it? Now, you know, uh, when it comes down to it, there's a lot of people that just want the best of everything, okay? So when they see uh, kind of like a better performing PS4, you know it's going to catch their eye to the point where they might want one of those, you know? Uh, I think there is a little segment in the consumer base when it comes to that because, I mean, how would you guys feel if you invested in a machine and three years later you know mid life cycle they come out with a better performing machine now i know slims have come out in the past i mean it wasn't really anything besides just a, a slimming down of the machine uh they did have you know better parts in it but it was more dealing with heat and stuff like that so it wasn't uh in all actuality a better performing console when they went to the slim version but now this is what you're getting and i think a lot of this is because of vr because if you look at Sony's statements, they're saying that frame rates cannot be dipped down in quote unquote Neo mode. So I, I really feel this is to help out their PlayStation VR. But here's a couple interesting things. Um, Sony came out and said that, you know, anything that isn't native 4K can be upscaled in terms of games. I don't know how PlayStation fanboys will feel about that because from what I hear from them, upscaling is shit and it's got to be native, all right? Maybe it's a little bit different because now it's upscaling to 4K or basically because it's just a Sony machine. But, um... Oh, rough landing. And, and from the specs, a lot of people have stated that, you know, the, the big titles, the, the full games, um, they, they, won't, they still won't be able to run native 4K. And then not only that, I, I'm not sure if the, the smaller indie titles will go native 4K either. But, uh... And then it just really looks like it's this thing's made for to help the PlayStation VR 
and to help stream like Netflix and stuff like that in 4K. And of course, Netflix is non-game related stuff. PlayStation is for the gamers. Again, I wonder how fanboys will feel knowing that they're putting out this new system to help stream non-gaming related content in 4K. But like I said, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, definitely hit up that comment section. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you uh, what you think about what I consider to be the future of gaming and what I see Microsoft doing with that whole focusing on the, the platform thing and then, you know, uh, having it run on, on different devices, different hardware, and having the games, you know, being able to scale up and down according to what hardware you're using. Um, you know, hit up that comment section. If you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox. 448 and I am definitely signing off.